Welcome to Maine Public News Connect, original news stories from Maine Public Radio, airing weekly in Spanish, French, Portuguese, Somali, and English. Today is Friday, February 17th, and here are the week's top stories. Abbott Labs has laid off most of the temporary workers at its Westbrook facility, including hundreds of immigrant workers who had been assembling COVID tests during the pandemic. Abbott did not say how many workers it let go, but social service agencies said it's at least 750 people. Some former workers say they received only short notice of the layoffs and are now concerned about how they are going to pay rent. Social service agencies are rushing to organize hiring events for the impacted workers, but say they are struggling to meet demand for assistance. 13 organizations are receiving emergency funds from Maine Housing to open new warming shelters or expand existing ones for the next several months. The grants, which cost around $1 million in total, come from the $21 million fund Governor Janet Mills and the state legislature approved last month as part of a broader emergency heating and energy package. Three organizations in Portland will receive funding, including the Maine Immigrants' Rights Coalition and Greater Portland Family Promise. Both organizations are on the front lines of the housing crisis for asylum seekers, arranging emergency shelter in churches, motels, and the homes of local pastors. After a massive earthquake hit Turkey and Syria last week, several groups in Maine mobilized to send medical equipment and clothing to the impacted areas. The Portland-based group Partners for World Health, which regularly sends medical supplies to hospitals in Syria, is raising money to expedite its next shipment in response to the earthquake. Meanwhile, the Azerbaijan Society of Maine organized a clothing drive to collect coats, hats, gloves, and other cold weather gear to send to Turkey. Community President Tarlan Ahmadov said it felt important to help because many people in the Azerbaijani community have family living in Turkey, and the two countries have a close relationship. The number of public school students in Maine has risen slightly this year, but enrollment is still far below pre-pandemic levels. According to the Maine Department of Education, Maine public schools enrolled nearly 173,000 students last fall, an increase of about 700 students from a year before, but still down about 4% from before the pandemic. Governor Janet Mills has proposed spending $101 million as part of her upcoming biennial budget proposal for the state to keep paying 55% of education costs. While fewer students are being reported in some higher grades, the state has seen a steady increase in pre-kindergarten students as more districts have opened or expanded early childhood programs. This has been Maine Public News Connect. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next time. Maine Public News Connect partners with wonderful groups across Maine committed to providing access to important news and information for all. We'd especially like to recognize the Maine Immigrants' Rights Coalition, Presente Maine, the Congolese and Angolan Communities of Maine, Amjambo Africa, Catholic Charities of Maine, the Greater Portland Immigrant Welcome Center, Portland Adult Education, the Portland Office of Economic Opportunity, Prosperity Maine, the Maine Health Access Foundation, and the Maine Humanities Council for their support and efforts. Maine Public News Connect is made possible by individual sponsors, businesses, and foundations from across Maine, and especially by Coastal Enterprises, Seaport Credit Union, Hannaford Supermarkets, IDEX, Ku and Patricia Ewan, Maine Health Access Foundation, Maine State Housing Authority, and the Sam L. Cohen Foundation. Thank you for your significant support. Maine Public News Connect is made possible by Ku and Patricia Ewan, committed to bridging cultural differences in our communities. Juntos. Ensemble. What a year. Punto. Seaport Credit Union. Together. At Maine Housing, we know an affordable home is key. Our first home loan program offers Mainers low interest rates and down payment assistance on multi-unit properties. Learn more at mainhousing.org. Hannaford Supermarkets, celebrating the diversity of its employees, customers, and communities, and committed to fostering a welcoming environment. Together, they're greater than groceries. Learn more at hannaford.com. If you would like to support this project, please contact Corey Morrissey at 207-232-0241.